Malaysia, Asia's miniature culinary paradise. Known as a multi-ethnic country, this country's cuisine is extremely rich and offers unique characteristics. Among countless delicious dishes, smoked duck curry in Kuala Lumpur stands out as a precious culinary gem. Have you ever heard of a dish that combines the rich flavor of curry and a unique smoking method? In today's video, join me in discovering smoked duck curry, a wonderful culinary experience that is sure to captivate anyone who gets the chance to enjoy it. Not only famous for its unique chicken curry, the wonderful blend of flavors from Malaysians, Chinese, Indians, has created another version of this dish. Not chicken, smoked duck is the main ingredient for this dish. To ensure the quality of raw materials is always at the best level, ducks are often raised in large quantities on farms. After meeting export standards, they are sent to processing factories. Here, ducks are processed to remove some unnecessary parts such as feathers, internal organs, etc. Then preserved and consumed. After being imported from the factory, these ducks will be pre-processed before starting the food processing process. First is cleaning to completely remove impurities. Next, it is necessary to process the excess fat and some unnecessary parts such as the legs, wings, beaks, and especially the skin on their necks. Finally, make a cut along the duck's body and begin the smoking process. In order for the ducks to retain their characteristic flavor, at this stage, they will be directly smoked without adding any spices. Instead, the chef will use the dried coconut shells as ingredients, because they can create heat and smoke very well. Besides, the aroma from the coconut shell also makes the duck meat delicious and more attractive than ever. The smoking process will take about two to four hours until the duck has an eye-catching brown color and we can proceed to the next steps. Whether or not the taste of a dish reaches perfection depends on how we prepare the sauce. Prepare a portion of curry sauce, including ingredients such as lemongrass, makrut lime leaves, garlic, shallots, and sili padi, a typical chili in Malaysia. And indispensable is turmeric, the ingredient that creates the eye-catching color of curry. 
You can use turmeric powder, or if you have fresh turmeric, even better. Fresh turmeric will give it a slightly spicier flavor. Once prepared, cut the smoked duck into bite-sized pieces. Next, cook them in the curry sauce mixture until it's all combined and the flavors are absorbed. At this point, we will add a sufficient amount of coconut milk and continue cooking on the stove. Made with tender smoked duck and an incredibly rich coconut-based curry, this combination creates a flavor unlike any other. It's rich, delicious, and has the perfect amount of spiciness, so you definitely can't miss it. Smoked duck curry is often served with rice and other traditional Malaysian side dishes, such as akar, pickled vegetables, or sambal belekan. Malaysian smoked duck curry is a wonderful combination of unique culinary elements, providing a distinctive flavor, unique character, and high nutritional value. The traditional smoking method before cooking curry brings a layer of natural smoky flavor, blending with the fatty taste of duck meat, along with natural sweetness and tenderness, making each piece of meat attractive and delicious to satisfy your taste. Not only is it a wonderful culinary experience, smoked duck curry also offers many nutritional benefits, providing protein, healthy fats, vitamins and minerals needed by the body. Duck meat contains many unsaturated fatty acids that are good for the heart, along with spices that have strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, helping to protect the body from free radicals and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Malaysian smoked duck curry deserves to be enjoyed and explored. Perhaps few people know that the famous cherry duck dish actually has nothing to do with cherries. This is a speciality in the Yilan region of Taiwan that any tourist coming here should enjoy. The duck meat is grilled until golden brown, soft and succulent inside, mixed with a delicate sweetness that spreads on the tip of the tongue. The variety in serving methods enriches the flavor of the dish. Don't miss today's video to discover the secret to creating the unique flavor of this cherry duck dish. Cherry ducks originate from Cherry Valley in England. They have white fur large heads and wide foreheads, and short necks with a thick undercoat. Adult ducks can reach a weight of about 3 to 4 kilograms, characterized by a high percentage of lean meat and a thick layer of fat under the skin. According to statistics, each year up to 2.5 billion cherry ducks are consumed worldwide. This is a special type of duck with delicious flavor, high meat quality, and rich nutritional value. First, the duck will be washed with water to remove dirt and impurities. Salt will be used to rub all over the duck's body 
helping to eliminate unwanted odors. To make delicious roasted duck, carefully pull out any remaining fluff from the duck skin. Finally, the duck will be washed thoroughly with water. After using a knife to make a small cut in the duck's abdomen, we will gently remove unnecessary internal organs. Next, wash the duck's abdominal cavity with diluted salt water to remove odors. Pay special attention to removing the red membrane inside the abdominal cavity so that the duck meat does not have an unpleasant odor. After that, wash the duck thoroughly and drain. To make the roasted duck dish more flavorful, use a mixture of spices such as salt, five spice powder, anise powder, and cinnamon powder, and then put it in the duck's belly. You can gently rub the inside so that the spices are absorbed evenly. After that, the duck belly will be fixed to retain the flavor and moisture inside. At the same time, we'll use a specialized iron hook to hang the duck on the rack. Before colouring, the duck skin will be inflated to have even contact with the sauce. Meanwhile, prepare the special sauce mixture of maltose, white vinegar, water and some other spices, all of which will be brought to a boil in a large pot. After the preliminary processing step, we'll use boiling water to cover the inflated ducks evenly, helping the skin become firmer. Let the duck cool completely then continue to pour the colouring sauce on the surface of the skin so that when boiled, the duck has a beautiful colour. After that, they'll be hung in a ventilated place for 6 to 8 hours, allowing the duck skin to dry before grilling. After preparing, we'll hang the duck in the oven and bake at a temperature of 150 to 180 degrees Celsius. During the grilling process, pay attention to adjusting the fire temperature and turn the duck evenly on all sides to achieve perfect doneness. Cherry duck is usually grilled for about one to one and a half hours, depending on the size. When the duck is cooked, the outer skin will have a beautiful golden color. At that time, we'll take the duck out of the oven and let it rest for about 10 minutes before cutting it and serving it to guests. Restaurants often serve five dishes made from cherry duck, the first being three cup duck. The name three cup duck comes from the use of three main spices, soy sauce, rice wine and peanut oil to flavor the dish. We'll use duck head, wings or bones, cut into small pieces and mix well with boiled spice mixture. After being marinated, the duck will have a rich and slightly spicy taste very suitable to enjoy with pickled white cabbage. Cherry ducks contain high protein content, about 18 to 20 percent, providing essential amino acids for the body. This dish also provides adequate fats, vitamins and minerals that are good for health so it is very popular in this country.
Beijing's best roast duck shops sell 3,600 ducks every day. A set of roasted ducks is hung up before and after roasting. Can you believe it when 3,600 ducks are sold in a day at a roast duck shop in Beijing? What is different about this dish compared to regular roasted duck dishes that make it so popular? As a famous dish of Beijing, many tourists come here from far away just to enjoy this dish. Without further ado, let's see how Peking Roast Duck is created. Ingredients The duck used to prepare Peking duck originates from Nanjing. Newborn ducklings are raised in a free-range environment for the first 45 days of life and force-fed in the next 15 to 20 days, resulting in ducks weighing 5 to 7 kilograms before being released. Before being supplied to processing facilities, ducks are transported to factories for processing. From an original duck, fresh duck meat will be processed and processed to bring to the market as well to supply processing facilities. The processing line at the factory will remove duck feathers and internal organs and then clean them to remove impurities. Ducks supplied to processing factories will be left whole. Ducks brought to the market to serve consumers can also be left whole. Normally, the processing factory will divide the duck into small parts and then package and transport them to consumers to enhance the convenience of the duck. After receiving ducks from the processing plant, the processing facility will conduct preliminary processing of the ducks, check and completely remove the feathers on the skin as well as the fat in the duck's belly, rinse thoroughly with water then use an air pump to inflate the duck from the inside. The duck skin is inflated quickly. This step will help the duck skin when grilled to achieve the dish's characteristic crispiness. Next. Cover the duck with hot water to create volume as well as firmness and shine for the duck skin. Mix a mixture of water and vinegar and pour it over the duck that has been exposed to hot water. Dressing will contribute to making the duck have a characteristic brown color that looks very beautiful and extremely attractive when cooked. After that, take the duck to dry before grilling. Fat ducks with smooth, shiny skin are hung in rows on racks to dry. Not only attractive because of its flavor, the unique way of processing is also one of the things that create the brand of Peking duck. When the duck is completely dry, put it in the oven for a standard time until it has the characteristic golden color and it's done. These are oval-shaped ovens with charcoal burning underneath to create heat. With this way of grilling, the duck will become more fragrant than the usual grilling method. While waiting for the duck to cook, we will make the crust to eat with the duck after roasting. First, put the flour into the mixer, slowly add a sufficient amount of water, and mix until the dough is completely mixed. Pour the mixture onto the table and continue kneading. Then, divide the dough into certain parts and shape the crust. Put the shaped dough into the machine and press it until it's very thin. Bake the dough until both sides are cooked evenly. Side dishes such as green onions and mouse milk are also prepared quickly. Wash the green onions and cucumbers. 
As for the green onions, only take the roots and then cut them into strips. The cucumbers are also cut into bite-sized pieces. How to enjoy Once the ingredients are prepared, the duck meat will have a crispy skin when cooked and the duck meat will be succulent, soft, and retain the typical flavor of the duck. Peking duck is enjoyed in a completely different way from regular duck dishes. Diners will be able to directly observe the chefs preparing the duck after roasting. First, separate the duck skin, then the duck breast meat. The meat will be cut into bite-sized pieces and then placed on a plate. Continue doing so until all the meat is separated from the duck bones. The bones will be chopped and processed into other dishes at the request of diners, such as duck bone soup, spicy stir-fried duck bones, or roasted duck with garlic salt. Diners will use the crust and add a piece of roasted duck, a little onion, cucumber and sauce then roll it up and enjoy the sweet melt in your mouth duck meat with a gentle aroma is truly wonderful Nutritional value. Not only is it a delicious dish, Peking duck also brings great benefits to our health. Eating duck meat has a good effect in supporting the treatment of cardiovascular diseases, supporting the treatment of tuberculosis and cancer under radiotherapy and chemotherapy, useful for physically weak people and pregnant women lacking milk. However, it should be noted that because duck meat has cold properties and a yin-boosting effect, people whose colds have not completely recovered should not be eaten temporarily. Especially, do not eat duck meat when the wood ear mushrooms, turtle meat, or black turtle meat, because duck meat cooked with wood ear mushrooms is cold. Eating is not good for the digestive tract. While many people think that Taiwanese cuisine is a combination of Chinese and Hong Kong cuisine, the reality is completely different. Taiwanese cuisine is a skillful combination of the sophistication of Japanese cuisine and the modern flavors of Europe, creating a unique and distinct culinary culture that's easy for diners to fall in love with. Here in Taiwan, it's not Peking roast duck, but the traditional caramel duck that is truly everyone's favorite national dish. To see for yourself, please watch the entire video along with us today. Unlike Peking roast duck, instead of being marinated with spices and then grilled, caramel duck is cooked in a special caramel sauce, giving the dish a rich sweet flavor combined with the characteristic aroma of duck meats and many different spices. This combination creates a special, unforgettable, completely unique flavor. Which is why caramel braised duck has become one of the dishes that Taiwanese people love most. 
even more popular than the traditional favorite, Peking duck. Most diners, having experienced it, rated duck meat in Taiwan as more delicious than in other places, perhaps because the ducks here are raised on farms with special care. Farms in Taiwan often have a large area where ducks can move freely, making the duck meat soft, moderately chewy, and delicious to eat. It must be said that the chefs in Taiwan are really very skillful and can prepare many strangely delicious dishes that are both unique and mouth-watering. Therefore, when eaten in Taiwan, no part of the duck meat is wasted. All parts from the skin to the blood are used to make attractive dishes. From boiled and fried to grilled duck dishes, each dish has its own flavor. But no matter how it is prepared, the dish is likely to be truly special. Before being processed, the duck will have to go through preliminary processing stages at the factory. Here, staff will clean before processing. Some parts such as fur and internal organs will be completely removed, along with their heads, necks and legs. Caramel duck will generally use the whole body of the duck, although in some stores, they only use the two thighs of the duck to prepare the dish. After preliminary processing, the duck will be packaged and shipped to the restaurant for preparation. After receiving the raw materials, they'll be cleaned again. Then the preparation process begins by removing the duck's odor so as to not affect the quality of the dish. Next, use a large pot with a sufficient amount of water and add some spices such as soy sauce and sugar and then proceed to prepare the broth. Prepare some green onions, ginger, bay leaves and star anise. Put them in a filter bag and place the bag in the pot of broth. Finally, add the duck and boil and when it's cooked, take it out and completely remove any remaining duck feathers. The sauce will be transferred to smaller pots for preparation. Add the special caramel sauce, which is prepared according to each restaurant's own recipe, along with the duck, into the pot. Then simmer over low heat for about 30 minutes until the duck is cooked evenly and the sauce is condensed. We have now finished preparing the traditional caramel duck dish. Note, while cooking, you need to stir the pot evenly so that the duck meat absorbs the flavor while producing the characteristic brown color of cockroach wings, which is extremely attractive. Not only does it have an eye-catching appearance, the famous Taiwanese street caramel duck dish also conquers diners with its succulent meat, which is both tender and well infused with spices. Not only tasty, 
duck meat is a source of diverse and important nutrients for health. It is rich in protein, vitamins and minerals such as iron, magnesium and phosphorus. Duck meat also contains beneficial fats and provides a steady stream of calories. These qualities make it a good eating choice to maintain nutritional balance and health for the body. That's the end of today's video. What do you think about today's topic? Please comment below to let us know. If you are passionate about exploring, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss all the interesting and exciting videos ahead. But for now, goodbye and see you again in the next video.